pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Hello my gems, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello. I'm really glad you clicked on this video. I do hope you will stay, take a chance on this channel and think about subscribing before the end of the video. And if you could give this video a like if you enjoy it, that really helps me out. So thank you. And if you're returning, guys, you know I love you. So today I'm using a palette I've used before. It is the Dossier palette that I got in the Ipsy Glam Bag last year, October of 2020. It is one of my go-to palettes. So I'm doing an eye look with this palette for you guys today. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Okay, today we are going to use one of my go-to palettes, which is the Dossier. And we got this in Ipsy. It was, I think it was Plus for October 2020. It had a $65 value, and I loved it because it was magnetic, and you could move these around if you want. It's got a lot of neutral shades in there. It also gives me a cheek highlighter and an awesome-looking mirror. So we're going to use that today because it's been a minute since I've used this palette. So I'm excited to do that. And let's see, so my favorite colors in here are the wine-ish kind of colors. I like those a lot. But today we're gonna go in with this color in the corner here, which is a brown shimmer. And we're gonna go in with the Standout Sweep MOTD brush. I've got concealer on my eyes today that I set with Fenty Beauty setting powder, the lavender, trying to use up some old products. Basically, I am going to lay this color down and go back in and blend. I'm feeling a bronzy kind of moment today. So we want to do the crease dark so this way our eyes look as big as we can get them. Unless you have big eyes and lid space. I don't. <laughs> so. I'm forever like, hmm, what can I do to make this a little bigger? This is a really pretty shade. Okay, let me go ahead and grab a Morphe blending brush and just get in the crease here and make sure we blend this right underneath the brow bone. Do like circular motions. You can also do windshield wiper motions. Basically, obviously, you just want to blend it into the skin and no harsh lines. Not unless it's an eye look that calls for it, you know. If you're doing something like drastic. But this is a really nice little compact palette you can take when you travel. If you're starting to travel again. Are you? Is anybody starting to travel again? Let me know. I'm curious. I had so much fun reading my comments this morning. I'm not finished yet either. Gotta get another cup of coffee. It'll be my third one. Can you tell? <laughs> Okay, so I've laid this color down. We're blended. Now I'm going to grab one of my, this is one of my newer brushes. I think it's the SL Miss or something like that. I don't know. And I'm going to put some setting spray on this. And we're going to go into this other shimmery color. I'll put the colors on the screen for you. This is just super pretty. We're going to put that right here. Ooh, love it. Trying to minimize fallout. I did not do my under eye concealer yet. Ooh. All right. And I started getting my new closet. If you guys saw, I'm sending my closet. Yes, I went through all my stuff uh, to another YouTuber to rate two of them actually and I bought all new stuff and I tried sheen so I've got some clothes from there because you know you want to try and do it on a budget and I had some stuff that was outdated just I really needed to go through it and I I did it <laughs> so now I've got sheen and I, um, clothes and I've got um Steve Madden sandals 
sneakers coming just some different stuff okay so i like that a lot there's a white in here too there's a shimmer and there's also a white matte but i am thinking towards the back do i want to do black hmm i think we'll do black <clears throat> excuse me there's a black matte in here i'm gonna put that the outer part of the lid and kind of in the crease and i'm gonna stop Make sure it's even, then go back with my blending brush. I'm gonna start right here and then kind of do circular motions and flick it towards the eye instead of, some people have their eyeshadow hang down or drag and you don't wanna do that unless the look calls for it. It's a specific look. So it's basically flicking it up. You barely have to touch it. The shadow should blend like a dream. Okay, but see the difference? The blended side as opposed to the non-blended side? Okay. Same method over here. Make sure everything is symmetrical and nicely blended. Then I'm going to go in with this white shimmer and put that right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my hair is like sticking up. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> Alright, let's get that white down. Woo! Ooh, I like. Okay, so now obviously I have to go back in and blend that. We're going to blend it in a different way. We're going to take like a brush that looks like this. It's kind of floppy at towards the end. And what I want to do is just blend this into the edges. So this way it doesn't look so harsh, you know. And I think... I want to also go in with, I'm going to take the other side of this brush, the wine color, the shimmer one, and put that out here too for a hint of color right there. Now it's time for some liner and we can do underneath the eye. We are going to need um, yes, let's go in with Kat Von D's Cake Pencil for the lower waterline. I love this pencil. I think I'm almost out of it. Yeah, I am almost out of it. All right, do you guys know what time it is? Say it with me. It is time for a, uh oh, do I have one? Ah, <gasps> yes, a stiffy. Yes, 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 yes. The eyeliner smudge brush. This one is the Jaclyn Times Morphe collaboration, the JH43. I'm gonna go ahead and pounce this into that white shimmer real quick. So I can put that down here. that up to make it like the inner corner part then we're going to move down to the wine color put that here stamp it in wiggle it in however it works for you and then we're going to move over to the matte black and stamp that in back here then we want a mini round brush so we can go ahead and or this one here will work too. The LaRousse brushes, I really like them. So we're going to do the first part here. Oh, 
this still had some color on it. Good thing I didn't do my under eye concealer yet. And then we're going to go back here and blend. Let me get my under eye concealer done. All right, my gems. So that completes my eye look for today using the Dossier palette. Did you get this palette? I actually ended up with another one, so I have two. I would open the other one, but I love this. It's one of my go-tos. I actually put this in my new vanity in my room, which I am still filming for you guys, because there's a lot of stuff that I decided I was gonna take from here to put in there. It's just all my go-tos are in that other vanity. So this is definitely there. Let me know what you think of this eye look, what you think of this palette. I did take a little bit of Jaclyn Cosmetics Beaming Highlighter in the shade Extra, and I put that on the brow bone here and in the inner corner here and a little bit right here so that's why you see that extra oomph but yes definitely tell me what you think in the comments below i love you guys so much thank you for taking the time to watch this video as always if you have any questions put them down there and i will do my very best to answer them and i will see you guys really soon in another video bye